Alright guys, welcome back to Watch This. Now uh, I'm showing off another a, a replica piece here in my collection, paying homage to the Deep Sea Challenge, which is the Deep Sea Challenge Rolex right here, guys. This is an incredible watch, uh, even though it is a replica, um, it's a really cool piece to have in the collection. Um, it is the beast that was attached to uh, James Cameron's submarine when he went down to the bottom of the Marianas Trench, guys. Um, this particular watch is an awesome replica as well of that watch. I mean, the original it was never for sale to the public, um, and this particular replica was also very hard to come by as well, especially in the stainless steel. Um, so the watch is 50 millimeters uh, in diameter. It is a monster, um, and you can see the case thickness here with uh, with that huge uh, crystal uh, to obviously withstand the depths of that 12,000 meters. This one doesn't go down to that depth, obviously, but. Uh, it's a good homage to that, just to feel and, and get an idea of what the real thing would be like, uh, which you know obviously is in a museum somewhere, uh, uh, probably in Switzerland actually at Rolex. So um, the watch was taken down to the bottom of the Marianas Trench with James Cameron, and it was attached to his uh, submarine uh, to an arm. And believe it or not, the uh, the camera footage on the documentary, if you guys watch that is quite incredible. The the arm actually stopped working, believe it or not, and they just managed to capture the watch working at that depth of uh, 12,000 meters, guys. So really incredible to uh, see that documentary. It's on Discovery, so make sure you guys check it out. Um, this particular watch, anyway, um, I got from somewhere overseas. I can't even remember now, but um, I just wanted a, a, an homage to that watch because it's really cool just to have any collection as well. Um, the build quality on this is fantastic, guys. It does have a ceramic bezel, full rotating there, as you can see. Um, it does have an automatic movement in this watch. I'm not sure what it is because I haven't opened it up yet, but uh, obviously it does have all the laser engravings there, guys. It's a true replica of the original that was taken down by James Cameron. Uh, full stainless steel case, guys, with the bracelet as well, which is all screws, so you can see there. And obviously that Rolex traditional Rolex dive clasp there. So if you use this, you can pull that out as well and get the dive extension. And you can uh, do this as well, push that back in. Let's just close that, there you go. And obviously with that Rolex bracelet there. So check that out guys, that's pretty cool. Um, the case back on this one, obviously, uh, you know, on the original was solid as well. Um, just obviously they wanted everything to be solid to withstand that depth of 12,000 meters, which I believe was recently, the world record was recently beaten as well by Omega. Uh, there was an Omega watch that just recently, I think uh, in 2019, that broke the, the record for the Marianas Trench uh, and took the, uh, the record off this particular watch, which is uh, pretty cool. Anyway, so uh, guys, this is the Deep Sea Challenge, um, 50 millimeter dive watch. Um, they did come up with a, a special uh, ring lock system here, uh, which then from this particular watch, uh, they introduced the Deep Sea Dweller and the James Cameron D Blue, uh, which uh, is uh, obviously I've got an homage to that one as well, which is the Ocean X Shark Master. So then they made a commercial uh, watch for sale for the general public to buy that did have a depth rating of sorry of 3,600 meters. So not as not quite as deep as 12,000 meters, guys. But um, anyway. So this particular watch, it is massive, guys. It's it's virtually uh, nearly 30 millimeters thick. Um, the crystal is enormous. It's an automatic movement. Has all the laser engravings there. It, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but there is an engraving that says 2012, which was a year that this uh, went down to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. Um, the laser engraving there on the crown, you can see there, guys. And I guess the next thing to do is to chuck this bad boy on the wrist to see what a 50 millimeter dive Rolex would look on the wrist. There you go. So this is the deep sea challenge, guys. Sits really high off the wrist. Beautiful watch, even though it is a rep, I don't care. Uh, just a really cool piece to have in your collection to, to say, you know, this is what the real one would look like. And I can tell you now, guys, this is seriously heavy. Um, this is well over 200 grams of solid stainless steel right here. And you can see the movement's pretty ticky as well. So that's cool. All right, guys, so thanks for sticking around and uh, checking out the Rolex Deep Sea Challenge homage. Um, really cool watch, guys. And for those of you who were lucky enough to have seen the, and held the real thing, I'm jealous. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see the real thing in person and uh, 
be really cool to see. So thanks for sticking around and uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I've got some other cool watches that I'm doing as well, putting up on this uh, incredible channel. Cool, take care, stay safe, peace, bye.